All right, guys, what do we have going on here today? So basically what's going on is that the robot is making a couple drinks um, based on the order taken from this square terminal over here. Now, I've seen and showed you guys in a previous video me doing that process where I order something on the square terminal. I intercept that transaction, pop it up on my screen, and then the robot will go make it. But what I've added recently is the ability to drop off cups in different locations on this table over here. So what you're seeing is the robot actually going through and making eight different drinks. And every single time it finishes a drink, it's gonna pick a new location to put the cup. Now eventually I could put sensors and be kind of fancy to know is the cup still actually there. Uh, but odds are at this point the user will have taken, or customer rather, will have taken their drink and that spot will be open again. So again, the robot's gonna go make the drink and just cycle through these different positions um, that it's putting the cups. So what I'll do right now is I'll actually reach over and I'm gonna clear some of these cups off so that the robot can, uh, you know, not get interrupted. So I just pretended to be uh, two customers grabbing their, their drinks from over there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the user interface as we go through and make these drink orders. So I showed you previously in this video of the robot actually putting the drinks onto the table, but how is the user supposed to know uh, if their drink is being made and where the drink is going to end up and if the drink is put in the spot where it currently is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button and you're going to notice that currently Joe's basic lemonade is being made. You can see that it's waving up at the top uh, in the queue there and that it's showing where that drink is going to be placed. When I click this button, I simulated the robot having completed that drink. So you can see that now it shows that Joe's Lemonade is in the leftmost spot on the table. If I click next again, you can see that now the robot is starting to make uh, the basic lemonade with no ice here. And you can see that it shows where that drink is gonna end up uh, on the right of the table here. So you can see it's cycling through those positions. If I keep proceeding, you can see it now finished Joe's Basic Lemonade, and it's now going to work on uh, Joe's pink lemonade. Now note here that when I do that, you can see that uh, before it, one of Ted's drinks was in that location uh, and it updated. Basically, we're assuming that at this point that the customer, i.e. Ted in this case, has had plenty of time to grab his drink off of the table. So there shouldn't be any sort of collisions. So if we click next, we can see that finally Joe's drink uh, you know, transaction will be complete. All of his drinks were made. You can see that they all have their locations on the table. And now we're gonna move on to making Hope's drinks. When we click next, you can see now it says that Hope's basic lemonade is being uh, made with that sugar rim. And you can see that uh, it shows the location once again. If I click next, it put in that location. And if I click next again, you can see that we now have uh, the next drink being made and the next location on the screen. So it should be very clear to the user based on the color and based on the label uh, where their drink is going to end up and how far away their drink is from being made. Uh, some updates that I might do in the future is make it such that because I know the amount of time it takes to make a drink, I could theoretically on the queue tell you when your drink is going to be completed. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got the cups, you know, dropped off in different locations. The next thing I wanna show you is something that I added for when the robot is not making drinks. When the robot's not making drinks, we wanna do something kind of fun to kind of attract customers to see, you know, what this robot is capable of doing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here and I redesigned the gripper so I can actually twist and take that right off. And then I can come over here and take this platter and I can go ahead and I can twist that platter right on there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna click a button on the UI, which basically starts a primitive called Waiter's Motion, which is like a showcase primitive to kind of show off what the robot arm is capable of. All right, so the what robot's gonna swing around here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup of water right on top of that. And we're gonna go ahead and watch as this robot does Waiter's Motion. So this is not something that's very easily achievable by a human being. Uh, because basically what it's doing is it has a cup on a platter with no friction. That's plastic on plastic. What it's doing is it's actually uh, basically using centrifugal force to keep that 
on the platter. So you can see one cool thing about this is while it's doing that, it's actually you know, moving the cup over uh, the, the displayed drinks uh, in front on the front table here. So yeah, that's a little bit of an update on the project. Again, Robot can now put the drinks in different locations. It cycles through those locations and it has the ability to do showcase primitives on the fly when it's not busy making drinks. So with that, have a good rest of your day. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.